Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Le Farah. Now, a lot of you have been hearing about something that is a little bit annoying, a little bit funny, a little, little mix of both. Photobombing. Now, if you're not familiar with photobombing, basically it's the act of someone getting in the background of your picture that you may or may not have intended them being in, and either making a funny face, just getting in the way, or doing some harm, uh, uh, honestly. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove photo bombers from your images in case uh, you want them out. Obviously they can be doing something in there that you don't want them to like the image that I'll be showing you today. Or maybe uh, you have a very important picture, maybe like a honeymoon photo or a proposal photo or even just a photo of someone that passed away and there was a last time you have a picture of them but there's a stupid photo bomber in the background so you can't really show that to your friends. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in Photoshop today. So I went online and I found this Disney photo. Really nice couple and everything. Uh, they're at Disney clearly. And then you have this guy. So this is clearly not a picture you want to show to friends and family or hang on the wall or keep in your scrapbook or whatever because of this guy. Now you could you could simply uh, fix this by just cropping out and having this. But then you're cutting off part of the castle. You're not really getting the full experience. So we're going to change this, okay? So I'm going to right click and just copy this and we're going to go into, go into Photoshop and file new. It's already set to the width and height of our image and hit OK. Okay, so this is the time where you guys just load in what photos you have. Uh, obviously, they'll be different than this one um, or you could just use the same one if you want to practice. So hit Control V to paste it. And I'm going to zoom in here again. Nice, nice couple. But then we got this guy over here in the background. Uh, now this this photo was taken with a not so high resolution and quality camera so it's a little pixelated uh, which is actually good for us because that means that it's going to be a little bit easier to uh, hide some of the flaws in our alteration now first let's just set up a plan uh, so this guy other than just that arm he's pretty good like it doesn't we don't really need to remove him from the photo too much I don't think because there's other people in the background obviously uh, so instead of removing this person entirely, how about we just get rid of his arm and we'll replace it with this arm here because this arm looks pretty good too. We can just flip it over and put it right there. And then we can fix up his shirt and make it look like normal because everything else is good. His face is not making a weird face or anything and there's really nothing else wrong. So it's really just the arm. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to just go over to our lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool. You could use the color lasso tool, but it really depends on what colors you have in your actual image. With the polygonal lasso tool, I like it because you can really fast and easily set your target points and work from there. So I'm going to start in the elbow and just work around where his arm is. Now again, you can go as fast or as slow as you want with this. It really just changes the uh, how high quality your alteration of the image is. I'm going way too fast than you guys should be uh, just for the fact that um, I really this in, this image is not too important to me, but if you have an important image, you know, take your time. So we have this arm highlighted, okay? Uh, you can see the quote unquote running ants, as some people call them. So this means that it's highlighted. We're just going to hit delete, okay, and then Control D to get rid of those. So you see we have this area here, and but the arm is gone, which is good. So now let's start actually reconstructing the shirt a little bit. So right here you can see the checkered background. It means there's no image right there. So we're going to be using a combination of the mark tool and the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool allows us to get the different colors and stuff and rebuild and reconstruct the background and the shirt. Uh, the mark tool is going to allow us to do that a little bit faster. So there's nothing really wrong with his right armpit area right there. So we're going to copy that and basically flip it and then put it over here on this side because it looks the same. People are symmetrical. So that will work out perfectly and save us a lot of time. I'm going to start with the mark tool eh, right there and we can drag up to right there and go to our cursor control C control V to copy and paste now just note we are now on a second layer so it created a new, new layer when we did this so just be wary of that hit control T to go into transform mode right click and flip horizontal so now it's on his left side so now we can just hit enter and readjust it with the arrow keys however it looks best. So maybe yeah, that looks pretty good. Just like that. Okay. 
So now we're actually going to right click the layer one and go down to merge visible. Make sure that the eye pieces right here are uh, both clicked, not unclick like that, or else it won't be able to merge the visible because they're not visible. So now we're just going to use our clone stamp tool. It may have the pattern stamp tool on it, but just make sure you're on the clone stamp tool. And for those of you who are curious, I have my uh, size set to 3 and hardness set to 100. If you've never used this before, basically it just takes the color from a certain area that you select and allows you to paste it somewhere else by hitting left alt. So we're going to left alt right here on this area, and we're going to left click over here. And you can see if we keep left clicking, it's recreating that area basically because it's uh, just taking the colors from over here and placing them over here. So we're going to fix this area up here a little bit. And every time I click, you can see right here I'm holding it down. The little cursor shows what color you're taking it from. You want to make sure you grab your color often so it doesn't go into a different color that you don't want, though. So just be wary of that. We'll change this to, <clears throat> excuse me, to get a little bit darker. And let's fix this stripe. Now, stripes are a little bit more difficult than solid shirts, obviously. And then there's some checkered shirts and stuff. It really depends on how uh, much detail you want to go into and how nice you want it to look. And then also just what everyone's wearing. And every every picture varies on depending on how difficult it's going to be to take the photo bomber out or alter them like we're doing. So let's just blend this a little bit more. Blend up here because that looks a little bit too choppy. Okay, so now it's time to actually copy and paste this arm. So we're going to go to a, back to our polygonal lasso tool, and we're going to start at the fingers, and we're going to go up past his wrist, cross his forearm, and we're going to cut right shy of the sleeve, go back down on the inside, back to his thumb go around we're gonna get this this pinky finger that's in there make sure it has a little bit of detail All the fingers connect it good now go back to our cursor control C control V again that created a new layer so just be cautious of that and just like last time control T for tr uh, free transform mode right click flip horizontal but we're not going to leave it like this. We're actually going to turn it a little bit just to see what looks best. So if we hit enter, there we go. Let's zoom out and let's just see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks natural. So we're going to go back in. And now we're going to merge visible again. So they're all on the same layer. We're going to reconstruct this arm a little bit, even though it's not. Uh, deconstructed it just needs to look a little bit better than that I think so again left alt to select your color and we're going to reform part of the arm let's grab some of the sleeves so we can do that as well and we'll get a little bit of that okay a little bit more of the arm in here Really just do what you think looks best. We'll undo a little bit of that because it looks like his arm is getting a little too big. Now we're going to fix the uh, torso right here just so it looks a little bit more smooth and natural. Curve it out a little bit, you know. Fix up right here. And then we can fix right back here. Perfect. So now it looks more like an arm. And now we just need to do this background area. Now, since we don't really know what's back here, all we can really do is guess. Uh, and we can use the colors in the background that we already see to help us guess. So judging from this, there's some sort of peach color. So there's probably a uh, stone or something or something that they built. And there's some trees. So we could use those both. So we'll take some of this peach color and we'll just get around his arm like that. Okay, now we'll grab some of this green from the tree, and we'll put some trees behind him. Perfect. And now we'll just go up here and do this area. Get a little bit of this torso back that we lost. 
If we zoom out, that looks pretty good. Obviously, if you if you know about the error and you stare at it for for you know a while, you can kind of tell that there is something funny going on with it. It does look a little bit fake, but you can just change that by a taking your time when doing this and adding some more shading and all that type of stuff. So other than that, at first glance, you hand this picture to someone, they're not going to think, oh, they photoshopped the arm. But now you have a normal guy there instead of a guy doing what he was doing before. So your picture is now defotobombed. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up down below and be sure to tell me uh, what you guys want me to photoshop tutorial next. Because uh, I like helping, helping you guys out. So tell me what you guys need help on. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.